Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network, and on this episode, we are at Radio Disney, and Shane Harper is taking over. He's here. We're gonna have fun with this one. He's taking over. Please welcome Shane Harper to take over Radio Disney. Yeah. Dude, welcome back, man. It's been a while. Outside is pouring. I heard the weatherman saying that I should stay in. Ain't no sunshine, but it's bright. Ain't no blue skies, but it's alright. Let's get the wind. It's been 14 minutes. I dropped you off and my mind's still racing. Never thought I'd think about it's all about you. Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network at Radio Disney with Shane Harper. How's it going? Good. How are you? This is like home for you, Disney, isn't it? This is. This I I <laughs> I grew up in this building. <laughs> I, Were you born here? I was born, yeah, in the basement, actually. Um, no, actually, it's funny. I this this I was just telling my guitar player when we were walking up. This is where I first auditioned for Good Luck Charlie. So you graduated from the basement up to level 21. I did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could say. <laughs> When you say your big callback, is that like when you're up in front of like basically Mickey Mouse? The Mickey Mouse, yeah, Mickey Mouse is <laughs> at the giant table up there. Actually, that's why it's so infamous. They put everyone at this giant table, and there's about 20, you know, 20 people there. Maybe maybe 20, maybe 25. I mean, if it's a big, if it's a full room, we got all the executives, all the casting executives, you know, channel executives, and they're all there to to watch you. How do you hold it together? I don't. <laughs> no, you know, it's it's um. It's hard. It's really hard. I usually just try and relax as much as possible and try and see if anyone in the room is, you know, uh, is down with saying hi, you know, and seeing how their day has been or something. I mean, your heart's just racing the whole time. And now you just walk in and you're like, oh, I'm here. I own this building. Yeah, right. Well, not, I, I'm, I was still nervous. <laughs> I was still nervous walking today. I was just, you know, you get used to performing and being in front of people, but you're, I mean, it's, it's weird. I'm always, I'm always going to be a little nervous for everything, you know? So growing up, people always talk about now like triple threat, being able to sing, dance, right. and act. Right. Is it true you're a quadruple? Quadruple threat. There's quadruple. some kar karate action. It's cool. Your... Karate's the fourth. <laughs> a black belt. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I grew up doing. Um, yeah, I grew up doing martial arts. So I started martial arts when I was four, and I got my black belt when I was 13. Teach me a quick self-defense tip. If someone's trying to punch you, like this, to get it out of the way, you're gonna want to bring your arm around in a circular fashion over your face like that, okay. so over like a windshield wiper almost. Okay. So that will that's gonna deflect my punch this way, but you're not gonna want to use your wrist. You're gonna want to use the strong part of your forearm. So you're gonna want to get it out of the way, and then with in this my arm, case, the bony part of right, my right, forearm. Right, right, exactly. And then with, and then with this arm, you can well, clock them. Metal on this so arm. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, so you could just, but so that's you could just do that. Crazy. Yeah. The new album. Talk to me about your creative process, writing, and you know how do how do the songs how do they come about? I like to jam in sessions. So I like to have people that are really into music, and not trying to make a formulaic hit. But I just like being in the room with people who are inspired by music, who can play instruments themselves, or who want you know want to collaborate in a in a really exciting way. Because I like to be excited in the room about what you're making. Let everything out and just have a good time. So Dancing in, your, in the Rain is your new single. Mm -hmm. Do you, is the video out? Have you filmed the video yet? It's a perfect day to go dancing in the rain. We're supposed to shoot it this week, but I think we might have to push it to next week, but it's like any any week now we're going to be like, you know, do I going to get into rehearsals? I'm going to get to dance in it. I was looking on YouTube. I was checking out and there's a, an actual video for Dancing in the Rain and I thought it was your video and it's really? two girls, fans that made their own video to your song. I haven't seen it yet. I need to look that up when I get home. It's really funny when they make music because I'm always like, what is this? You know, it's like video, music video. I'm just like, what is this? Or it's this? like a montage. It's like a pictorial montage with yeah, your music Yeah, them like later. holding stuff. Yeah, holding like a record or like next to a poster. It's the coolest thing. I know, I love it. So you toured with Grayson Chance mm -hmm. and Cody Simpson, yeah. who we've had in our studio before. Yeah, Great right. guys. Yeah. Any crazy tour stories? There's got to be some. Yeah, those guys are wild. Those guys are funny. They played a lot of pranks on each other. I heard about, and like we'd be backstage and stuff, like in a little like a little area, um, 
almost like a parking strike. It's for the buses to pull in, you know, but it's closed off and gated and stuff. And Grayson just comes like flying by on this like skateboard. Like just, he almost hits me. Like, you know, like you're just like flying around, you know, like being, being, being kooky. Cause they're, I mean, you know, they're young, like that fun and stuff. So they're, they're always like, I was like, and of course I felt like the old guy. Cause I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, you're going to hurt yourself. You know, like don't, you know, cause he's like on it with no wrist guards or, or helmet, you know, and I'm totally the mom. And I was like, don't, what are you doing? You're going to, you know. So what one thing do your fans not know about you? I did get stung by a jellyfish when I was surfing once. People offered to pee on, pee on my leg. I was like, no. <laughs> no, I will walk somewhere, <laughs> you know, because that's supposed to be the remedy. So you're going to be touring this summer. Mm -hmm. Is there like a daily thing that you do to make sure that you feel at home or? Finding the best food in town, like what's good there and stuff. Um, and my, me, me and my band kind of have this weird ritual where we get ribs after every show. So, <laughs> like, we have to find a ribs joint in the town we're at, and if not, tacos. And now we know all your female fans are going to be hanging out at all the rib joints oh, yeah. in it's town gonna, after every one of your it's shows this like summer. To, we've literally driven, like, one time we drove, like, 30 minutes from our location to get to a ribs place. <laughs> we were, like, all, like, mapping it, you know? Like, where is it? And then we got there and it was close. We were like, oh, no, you know, like, what do we do? Thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, Congrats on everything. Thank you so much. It's a perfect day to go dancing in the rain. Woo!